was a magician. Mama Jean was my assistant. We were very successful, I must say. We even had our own theatre. I had my own workshop at the theatre where I could invent new illusions. Once I even built a working automaton. Ah, oh, he was a particular treasure. I put my heart and soul into him. Then, one night, Mama Jeanne and I went to visit a travelling circus. We were walking past the sideshow tents when I noticed something. Something strange. Something wonderful. It will terrify you. Sir, madam, inside we have moving pictures. Have a see. Like the Lumiere brothers had invented the movies. Part of it. It was like a it was like a new kind of magic. I asked the Lumiere brothers to sell me a camera, but they refused, you see. They were convinced the movies were only a passing fad and they saw no future in it. Or so they said. In the end, I built my own camera, using leftover pieces from the automaton. I just had to be a part of this new wonder. We risked everything. We sold the theater and everything we had so we could build our own movie studio. Excellent. And so the great adventure began. I wrote, designed, directed, and acted in hundreds of movies. I'm ready. Oh, that was good. That was good. Yes. Yes. That's all good. That's all good. Don't pull it on the stroke. <laughs> Excellent setting back. And in for the kill, knights. In for the kill. Come on, man. Attack! Stabbing, stabbing, and lunge! Good, good. Good, knights. Points for the attack. That's great, you can go. Pyrotechnics in, please. Knights, please don't move. Freeze, freeze, everybody. Wait for my action.
magic tricks and illusion became my speciality. The world of imagination. My beautiful wife was my muse, my star, and we couldn't have been happier. Action! We thought it would never end. How could it? But then the war came. And youth and hope were at an end. The world had no time for magic tricks and movie shows. The returning soldiers, having seen so much of reality, were bored by my films. Tastes had changed, but I had not changed with them. No one wanted my movies anymore. Eventually, I, I couldn't pay the actors or keep the business running, and, and so my enchanted castle fell to ruin. Everything was lost. One night, in bitter despair, I, I burned all my old sets and costumes. I was forced to sell my movies to a company that melted them down into chemicals. These chemicals were used to make shoe heels. With the little money I had from selling my film, they bought the toy booth. And there I have remained. The only thing I couldn't bring myself to destroy was my beloved automaton. So I gave him to a museum, hoping he would find a home. But they never put him on display. And then.